Sine of theta times one is the sine of theta. Sine times cosecant. Sine of theta. What is cosecant? I'm going to do two steps in one right here. One over sine. Oh, looky there. Okay. Sine times one over sine is one. This was like a two stepper. Some of them take more, some of them take less. Now, I can't I, I can't really give you a set of rules guys that that work for this okay each one is different um, but there, there are a few things that you do need to be aware of um, whenever you see squares you should think Pythagorean identities whenever you see a bunch of uh, reciprocal functions secant cotangent things like that we probably need to express things in terms of sine and cosine. Because there's nothing that we can do with that fraction on the left side. Secant of theta plus tangent of theta over cosine of theta plus cotangent of theta. There's nothing that we can do with that at this point. Because um, we can't split it up. So there's a little plus on the bottom. Okay. Our only choice at this point is to just start by trying, okay, well, what happens if I write everything in terms of sine and cosine? Let's try that. So secant is 1 over cosine. Tangent is sine over cosine. Cosine is already in its terms, so we'll leave that. Uh, cotangent is cosine over sine. Okay, somehow we've got to turn all that into sine of theta times secant squared of theta. Okay. So, anybody got any ideas? Combine the top. We could combine the top. We could. Okay, because they're both over cosine. So that's 1 plus the sine of theta over cosine of theta over... Maybe we should do a similar thing on the bottom. Okay, cosine isn't over sine, but we could fix that, right? We could multiply by sine, okay, using some of those rational function uh, skills here. Okay, I need a little bit more room on this one, a longer one. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, it may not look very good right now, but if you look at it, you should start to see a few things. Okay, so we have a fraction over a fraction, so we keep the top one the same. We flip the bottom one over. Now, I'm going to do something on, that, um, on the very bottom. What can I do to sine of theta times cosine of theta plus cosine of theta? There's something we could do to manipulate that expression. Take out a cosine. Take out a cosine. Well, that's nifty because look at what that now allows us to do. We have sine of theta plus 1 and 1 plus sine of theta. Those are the same things. Okay, those cancel. And so on the top, we have the sine of theta. On the bottom, we have cosine times cosine, which is cosine squared. We are one step away from completion. Cosine 1 over cosine squared. Cosine squared is in the denominator. We can bring it to the numerator by turning it into secant.
That one was really good. That one had a lot of pieces to it. I used some stuff that we did a long time ago with rational expressions. Any questions about that one? Okay, I'm going to do one more with you. I'm going to do number 29. We've got 1 plus sine of theta squared over cosine squared of theta is equal to 1 plus sine of theta squared over 1 minus sine of theta. I don't think I said that right, but anyways. Okay, so um, I'm actually going to write on, I'm going to work on the right side of this one. Okay, I'm going to work on the right side of this one. What I'm going to do, and it may look a little weird, but the reason why I'm going to work on the right side is I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So what would be the conjugate of the denominator? One plus, One plus sine of theta. Now, I'm not going to multiply out the top. Why not? Because exactly, that's already what I have on the left side of this equation. 1 plus sine of theta times 1 plus sine of theta is 1 plus sine of theta squared. And what happens when we coil at the bottom? We get 1, the outside and the inside cancel, minus sine squared of theta. What's 1 minus sine squared of theta equal to? Cosine squared of theta. That's a Pythagorean identity. Done. Okay, so sometimes you're going to have to come play around with these things. Okay, it's new, it's not something that you've ever really had to do before. Um, we've been working with trig for a few days, but your experience may vary. Um, you may have to start a process, you may do something that doesn't get you anywhere, or it may take you in the wrong direction. You might have to erase it. Okay. Um, God made erasers for a reason. Use them. Okay? Um.